We're going to find the foci and the lengths of the major and minor axis for x squared divided by 25 plus y squared divided by 16 equals 1. Alright, so basically uh, to find the foci, uh, let's look at this first. Uh, when you're doing a squared minus b squared, so this has the form of x squared divided by a squared, and it's a squared because it's always the bigger number. And think about it because you're subtracting, so it's the bigger number. And then we have y squared divided by b squared. So for us, that's going to be x squared divided by 5 squared plus y squared divided by b squared. So that's going to be 4 squared for us. Now let's just graph it. And the bigger number means uh, it goes for whatever is on, uh, on top of it. So you see the x? That means you're going to go, uh, since this is x, x is left and right. So that means you're going to go to the right 5 and to the left 5. Our center is 0, 0, and so that's going to be there. Now under the y, uh, we have 4 squared. So basically you take your b part, your a is 5, your b is going to be 4. Your y is always up and down. So y is going to go up 4 and down 4 on the vertical. And then you can just uh, sketch it like this. Sometimes they call it the sleeping egg because it lays down. So basically your A is always your bigger number. Now to get your foci or foci, depending on how you want to say it, we're just going to let C equal A squared minus B squared. So that's just going to be 25 minus 16, which is going to be, um, uh, it's supposed to be plus and minus. So let's put plus and minus here. So basically we're going to get plus and minus square root of 9, which is 3. So that means, and it always goes on your major axis. Your major axis is the longer one. So it's whatever the, uh, the bigger number goes under the x. So it's on your uh, x-axis here. So that's where you're going to put your foci. So you go to the right 3 and to the left 3. So that means that this is your origin. Your first foci is going to be on the x-axis 3 comma 0. I'll call this foci 1. And for your focus, the second focus, that's going to be negative 3 comma 0. I'll call this focus number 2. And we can go ahead and label our vertices here. Uh, this we went up 4, so this is going to be 0 comma 4. This one is... 0 comma negative 4 and then for these two points on the major axis because it's the longest one that's going to be we went out 5 so this is negative 5 comma 0 and this one's going to be 5 comma 0 all right now they want the length well the length is just going to be 2 times this remember this is 5 and this is 5 and a is the bigger number so the length of the major equals 2a. So that's going to be 2 times 5, which equals 10. And the length of the minor is the smaller one. The smaller number is the 4. So just remember we went up 4 and down 4. So that's going to be 2 times 4. So they write it as 2 times b which is 2 times 4, which is 8. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.